I don't, I don't know how I could, uh, I can't find a way, I've tried, I can't find a way to describe the sadness we feel in not being able to carry on with this, our life's work forever. It's been 23 years now we've done this, and this long time. This is the longest relationship anyone in this show has ever had. The legacy I want for the Follies, I, I suppose, is um, just that we provided fun and entertainment and uh, a way for folks to remember what it was like, you know, for their lives. It's, it's always been an honor for me to see generations of family come together here. And you've got grandparents and parents and children and grandchildren all coming together and enjoying the Follies together. And the grandchildren get to see that grandma's music was, was pretty cool. Walt Disney knew how to run Disneyland. Well, Riff and Mary know how to run the Follies. It came out of them, they saw it, they envisioned it. It's got layers and layers of magic, and the more that you're around it, the more that you realize that and you appreciate the, this, this connection. To be a part of the last season, to see people coming with just open hearts and great memories, and many people that come by the line at the end of the show to, to talk to me have been here like every year. Yeah, and they, they go, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> yeah, where am I gonna go? You know, so The Follies has been just an incredible love letter to millions of people over these years, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. It does tell the audience, it ain't over till it's over. Do what you love and keep going, and I think that's really important. You know, so I, I, hope, I hope it finds another incarnation or, but you know, if it doesn't, there's 23 years of absolute joy that, that uh, people have received from this show. But I think they're going to be remembered for the work that these women do, and the men, let me not leave them out, but the work that they put on every night. And I've only been here just a couple of days, but you can see that this show, they do it the same way. They put as much energy in it, they put their whole heart into it. And I'm one of those type of persons that once I go out there, even if it's for 20 minutes or 25 minutes or five minutes, I put everything I have into it. And that's what I think this show is gonna be remembered for. The work that they do, they don't give up. They do it every night, every show. When we first had the concept of the Follies, Riff and I were introduced to an agent uh, named Lenny uh, Green, and Lenny had a wife, Debbie Green. And when we met him, Lenny says, you need a headliner, and I've got just the man for you, Ralph Young, who lives in the desert of Sandler and Young, retired out here, and he needs something to do. And that's how I met his wife, who to this day is my best friend, uh, Arlene Young, uh, who now this year uh, is with the Follies as one of our head ushers and she said my husband opened the Follies 23 years ago I want to be here to close the Follies. Yeah, Mary brings the audience. <laughs> you know, you can be great, great, great without an audience. You're not so great. Mary is, you know, the most incredible marketer and she just fit into that whole position like a glove. I mean, everybody in this town adores her. She is so professional and so kind at the same time. You know, for me being here this year and seeing her in that, you know, in that position and how she handles everybody, all of her employees, she's, you know, she's just one of them and yet she maintains the control and the respect and keeps it all going. Ralph shared the dressing room with Riff, Mr. Markowitz, and that was, you know, very interesting because Ralph had so many stories because he was like the oldest man in show business. He had been in show business from the time he was 15 years old. And so he was full, he had the, the best stories, the best show business stories. And during that time in the dressing room, he shared many of them with Riff. And he just loved Riff. I mean, he just, you know, loved his sense of comedy, his timing, his connection to the audience. We'll miss it. <laughs> oh, terribly. And this, I, I don't know, I can't speak for Joan, but this opportunity, sometimes you can have an opportunity and even if it goes on for so long, you think, you never think it's gonna end. You just, and you don't know how lucky you are until, it's like, what, what do you mean? It's, mm, this isn't gonna go on forever. It's just, yeah. the opportunity for me has been 
just exceptional. And then to work with Joan, and I'm not just saying that. No. I didn't get to, I didn't get to dance buddies. with her, but you know, We're it's just, it's just been really great. And just not gonna think about it, Joe. No, we're not gonna think about it. Seriously, this, we love it. And I guess changing people's lives, um, and I know I have, and whether it's just for, you know, a moment or three weeks or three years or the rest of their lives, hearing those, um, those stories about how you've changed my life. You know, my, my spouse or partner passed away and I thought my life was open over and now I realize that it's just a new chapter in my life opening. Or the Follies has inspired me to take up dancing or paint again. So I, I just hope the Follies has inspired a lot of people out there to know that it's never too late We're a part of a phenomenon, you know? You think our pe folks our age are a part of a, of a wonderful phenomenon. I first came to recognize this, 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 this state of being when I was just a kid. I, you know, I understood it intellectually, but not emotionally, and it's only now that I'm old that I understand what a terrible loss it is when we lose friends, people we have known so long, we live far away, and we hardly ever see them, and then one day we we hear that they're gone. People who live close by, people who live across the street forever, people that we see all the time, people we served with, people we went to school with, family, taken from us in an instant. And I know that we all have the same thought, God, if I'd only had a chance to say goodbye. Only had a chance to, we're so grateful. So blessed to be having this last opportunity to perform for you and to say goodbye.